Hello viewers, welcome to the series on Convolutional Neural Network and in this session we are going to discuss about images and neural networks. So I know you are all quite excited about this topic. So without wasting much of our time, let's start discussing about it. And uh, so we have already seen that neural networks takes the numbers and output numbers. In this example, which is displayed right here, we have a simple neural network that takes the two numbers and outputs the sum of those two numbers. But how do we feed in more complex data like images? Let's take a look that how images are stored on the computer. So this is a typical image. Let's zoom in on the area around the cat's neck so that we can see the individual pixels that make up the image. Here we can see that image is actually a series of individual color pixels. But each color pixel is actually made up of mix of three colors, red, green and blue. In this image file, the three different color channels are stored separately. There's actually three separate files in the image file. One that represents the red intensity, one that represents the green intensity, and the one that represents blue intensity of each pixel. Okay, the color image that we see on the screen is just a mix of those three colors. Each pixel is just a number from 0 to 255 that represents how intense the color should be at that point. Here we can see that the bright points are close to 255 and the dark points are close to 0. That means that each color channel is really just a two dimensional array of integers with one number of each pixel in the image. Inside the image file, there are three separate rays like this, one for each color. If we layer the three colors channels on top of each other, we can think of an image as a three dimensional ray as always three layers deep. So to be able to feed this image into neural network, we need a neural network that has one input node for each number in this three dimensional array that we have already seen. This number add up very quickly. So let's pretend that we want to recognize what appears in a 256 by 256 pixel image. In modern terms, that's a pretty tiny image. Any cell phone takes the pictures that are many, many times higher resolution. But even with small image, we need 256 times of 256 times of three times input nodes in our neural network that comes out to be over 196,000 input nodes. And that's just for the input layer. Each layer of the neural network will use even more nodes. The number of nodes in the entire neural network will quickly grow into millions. That's why using neural network for image processing is so computationally intensive. Processing an image requires sending it through a neural network of millions of nodes. Because of this, image recognition system tends to work with images that are very small. It's very common to build image recognition systems that work with images that are between 128 and 512 pixels wide. Larger than that, it would get too slow and requires too much memory. When working with larger images, we usually just scale them down to those smaller sizes before feeding them into the neural network. <laughs> but even though working with image data is computationally intensive, modern computers have gotten very fast. We have techniques that handles or deals with this and we will talk about that in our coming videos. So. I hope this video proved fruitful to you and hope you have gained something extra than what you were knowing earlier. Thank you.